Hello, my friends. How are you? <laughs> we have a big full moon approaching us on the 17th. An Aries full moon, which is so significant in my life in so many different ways. There's always something huge that happens. The sun is on top of the star where I was originated. Well, actually, both stars. The sun is going to conjunct Spica on the 16th of October. And then on the 17th, on the day of the full moon, it conjuncts Arcturus. And as a bunch of you already know, I'm a hybrid of both of those energies. And so if you also have connections with these two constellations, there is activation that happens for you every year. There's not a lot of downloads coming and this channel is not a, like I don't follow any sort of business model for this channel, right? This is a channel for my galactic, so whenever they have something to say, they do. And it's interesting also to realize that back in the Gemini season, I was speaking a lot, there was a lot of videos and a lot of messages, they were addressing the times right now. Right? Um, there are some white bulls right there. Let me try to look. They're really far away though. I hope you can see. Like right there. They're so beautiful. There's a lot of relationship theme right now, especially now that we're in Libra season. But I feel like because the South Node is there, it is highlighting an important theme that I've been trying to convey. I released this incredible course called Tarot for Galactic Exchange that teaches you Tarot with a galactic perspective. There's a lot of information about the, the symbology and the archetypes in Tarot that are totally related to galactic information I didn't even know about. But it makes a lot of sense. Like the, the Hermit, for instance, is Arcturian energy. And the star is Spica. These are stars that are related to each other. <laughs> and then if you look at the Hermit, you see that the Hermit is carrying a lantern with a, with a star inside of it. The Hermit is about wisdom, knowing yourself. It's the truth that resides within you that nobody else can see or find for you. The star is about your biggest wishes coming true. What is your biggest wish? What's your biggest dream? There is no other way for you to know that without being with yourself, without sitting in the discomfort. Your discomfort is showing you the way to that. No other person can know this better than you. And that is why the hermit is looking at the star. The only way for you to know what really, truly matters to you, what truly makes you happy, is by going within, alone, and honoring that. If you haven't yet, it's time to go within fully. It's time to stop relying on other people because they're going to get more and more confused. You don't want to get swept up in that confusion, you know? And uh, I've been talking about this on the community tab and some people have been raising some interesting points, which is first that it's, <laughs> they need to feel that sense of comfort. And I know that a lot of people are going to tune off right now because I'm talking about this because there is this discomfort. I'm asking you to let go of perhaps the only crutch you have, the only thing that is supporting, supposedly supporting you right now. But the thing with that is that if you get addicted to this support that you find online, then what it means is that you are denying yourself the possibility for growth. Growth implies discomfort. It implies that you feel alone and you feel confused. But then stay with that feeling on your own. Honor that. Sit in that discomfort. Literally sit. 
look at look in your body try to find in your body where is the discomfort be curious about it oh it's in my heart oh now it moved to my my solar plexus be curious have this kind of detachment with it that's how you connect with yourself deeply that's how you honor who you are look <laughs> just found a cool thank you a black feather um, now if every time you feel the discomfort you go online and you search and you get that kick it means that your soul is calling you to sit with the discomfort so it can show you something so that you can start your development but then if you get the kick out of listening to other people on youtube you're not going to grow you're going to go, come back to this discomfort again and again and again and again it's, becomes like a cycle uh, an addictive cycle this is addictive right and then the loneliness you know there's nothing wrong with feeling lonely there's a lot of things you can learn about yourself in the loneliness and i have to tell you that as soon as you connect with yourself it's very quick that you get out of the loneliness and that you connect with your yourself your higher self and consequently your guides and then you're going to realize that they are always there anytime you want you're never going to feel lonely again you're always going to feel heard and held and loved for real not this band-aid fake kick that you get on youtube you get the real deal and you deserve that you deserve that now it does require discipline for you to get to that point and i was talking about this with one of my students yesterday he was telling me that he has been struggling with discipline and then i explained to him that for me discipline is freedom That's mm. how I ensure that I am free, because mm. I am disciplined with myself, right? Because I have scattered energy. I live in a world that keeps trying to mess with me all the time. Keeps trying to distract me from the things that I value, that I want to pursue, that I want to invest my energies in. So I need discipline to be able to commit to the things that I know, that I love, that I want, that I choose for me. I'm not going to let readers on YouTube distract me from my pain, from my discomfort. No, I'm going to honor that and I'm going to be disciplined with that. And the more disciplined I am with that, oh, the more freedom I feel from it all. And the more connected I feel with myself, with my guides. And yes, it might take a bit of time. But it's so worth it. That's that's the path. That's the real spiritual path. And then if you need to go on YouTube and watch things that are nurturing for you, then watch other things that are not spiritual. beautiful things being posted on YouTube that can give you that comfort that is much more nurturing than listening to a person saying things to you that validates what you want to hear but that perhaps this time your soul is asking you to to transcend it it's like okay you've already learned that that's why it's so fulfilling but now it's time to to move forward it's time to go deeper and it's discomfort, there is a discomfort with that process. But that doesn't mean it's negative. The discomfort is a good sign. It's a sign that you're getting out of that, that box, that tiny little box that you're in. And it's time for you to, to transcend it. And there is never enough transcendence. That is what is so amazing about living 
as a human being, as a being of a, a multidimensional soul that we are all. That we all are. <laughs> is that, that there is always more. There is always more to discover. There is always more to to open. Even your connection with your guides are going to change over time. They get deeper and deeper. Look how beautiful. I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna add it to my altar. We are going to be forced now to go within. There will be a lot of disappointment also in people that are really um, giving their power away for complete strangers that they see on YouTube just because they have a big number on the side of their faces, right? That doesn't mean anything. There is this naivety also that I find uh, very interesting in the so-called spiritual community. Like, this is so naive to just believe, to just trust, to just give your power away like this. Just because hundreds of thousands of people are doing it, you don't have to do it as well. Thank you for being here. Lay low, take good care of yourself in this full moon, because it's like a, it's a bunch of energy. Enjoy. And I will speak with you very soon. Bye.